Well, hello everyone. I wanted to solve the word problem that I challenged you with in the bulletins. I didn't tell you at the time, but it comes from uh, Parade Magazine. That's the insert that appears in our Sunday morning newspapers. I looked it up. I didn't know this. Um, it turns out that Parade is the most widely read magazine in the United States and that it has a readership of 71 million. So those are pretty profound numbers and I'm sure you've seen the magazine and you may even have seen the column in the magazine where I got the problem from. Now this is a Marilyn Voss Savant's column called Ask Marilyn and this is the date that this particular word problem appeared. Now she, her claim to fame is that uh, she scored higher in some IQ test than anybody before. And so she was able to parlay that into this interesting column that appears in the most widely read magazine in the country. And there's all sorts of in um, interesting things going on in her column. Word posers, riddles, um, she answers tough questions from her readership. I'm sure you've seen it. This word problem was uh, quite fascinating. It really gets at algebra and even calculus in that uh, it, it uh, uses those tools we find in there and, and, and illustrates a point I really want to make. So what I've done here is I've copied the problem and edited it to make it as uh, short and succinct as possible. Now, let's, go, let's read through it. It says here that an escalator has 30 steps and then it moves upwards at one step per second. Okay, see now at that moment right there when I read that, when I read her column and saw that, I was immediately thinking in terms of the very powerful formula distance equals rate times time and I hope you know you flagged it that same way because whenever you see a rate like that and this is a strange one we rarely talk about steps per second and so you know that's that's a nice thing about this problem is that I think the idea of really stick in your head now when you see a rate you think in terms of this formula and that's true for algebra or calculus so let's read on now and it says here that a man gets on and walks upwards. So his, his, he's going to add to the speed of this upwards moving um, escalator. He, he walks upwards. At the, at the top, he turns around instantly and walks down at the same speed. So there's no, there's no time allotted for um, him pivoting and, and walking down. We simplify the problem and say he turns around instantly and walks down. And then because now he's traveling against the escalator's current, takes him twice as long to get down. What is the man's walking speed? So this is what they're after. What is the man's walking speed? And from this scanty information, we're supposed to figure that out. 30 steps. The distance of the escalator is 30 steps. There, It's moving at one step per second, and it takes him twice as long to get down. That's all the information we have. But it's enough to get it done, especially with the hack I'm going to introduce here. Now, let's flashback to an earlier section of our textbook when we dealt first with distance equals rate times time. I asked you in formula manip manipulations to solve that for R and then to solve it for T to be able to isolate the rate or the time. And the reason was well for this moment right here. We have this word problem and it has two cases going up and coming down. And whenever you have that situation, going across, going up river, coming down river, flying a plane across to Hawaii, flying a plane back, you're thinking this formula and you're thinking, you're looking for what, which one of these quantities, distance, rate, or time, is the same in both the coming and going case. And I think you can see, or feel at least, that what's the same is actually the distance the escalator is 30 steps long. And so that is the formula we're going to use. If the rate was the same, we would have used this middle one. And if the time was the same, we would have used that third formula. So you, you establish which one of the three quantities is the same. And in this case, it's D. Now the book suggests that you form up a table, and I think that is great advice. And so what I'm going to do is create myself a table that shows both cases the going up and the coming down. And notice I'm keeping these in the same order as they appear in the selected formula. Distance equals rate times time. Now our distance, we've already agreed. The escalator does not change its length. It's 30 steps up, it's 30 steps down. The rate here is a more difficult thing to, to get. So I'm going to go for the time. And the time, there was only this sentence. 
it takes him twice as long it takes twice as long for him to get down now we don't have any numbers so we're going to have to go to a variable here it takes twice as long for him to get down so if we call if we call going up t it's going to take twice as long to get down so it's going to be 2t and there you go we're two-thirds of the way home we have one column to do here and it's the hard one it's the rate now we'd want to write it in terms of t if we could to keep to use just one variable and that's that's always a nice trick to know when you're dealing with story problems but there's there's no way we can write the rate steps per second here uh, the, the man's speed here in terms of time and so we're gonna have to go to another variable and this is the key variable this is in fact what we're asked to solve for the rate of the man and so what I'm gonna do here and, and, and suggest you do is you definitely I see a lot of resistance. Students don't like to write write down the, this following sentence here. Rarely do I see this in a paper. I'm, once you know, but I'm, but I'm suggesting that you do it for at least the most important variable here, which is I'm going to call x. Let x be the speed of the man. And I write that big letters up on top of my page. It becomes the focus for me of this problem. So even though I didn't do it for t, I'm definitely encourage you to do it for the, the main variable here, x, the speed of the man. Now I'm going to write the rate in terms of x and remember the only words that dealt with that were these. They only told us this, the rate of the escalator. It moves up at one step per second but the man is adding to that speed and so we're going to have to do some addition here and I think you'll see that the answer here the representation is x plus 1. So if x is the speed of the man and 1 is the speed of the elevator, if I add those two together we'll find the total rate going up the escalator. And now going down the escalator we're still thinking in terms of x and I think you'll see here that this makes good sense. The speed of the man minus one step per second that's going to be the rate going down. So there you go. At this point in time, really the problem has cracked open, um, especially with this idea of a hack. Now, the whole purpose it really comes down to this moment here. If there is a hack here, it's this. Here is the moment that we've been waiting for now. Look, we know the distance is the same for both going up and going down. This is a 30. And since 30 is equal to you know rate times time going down and 30 is equal to rate times time going up we can just basically get rid of the 30 here and we can set rate times time equal to rate times time for both going up and down in other words these two quantities multiplied together have to equal these two quantities multiplied together because both of those quantities multiplied together equal 30 so there is the hack and we're able to translate this now to an algebraic sentence that looks like this. The two quantities are equal to the other two quantities. Up is equal to down. And both would be equal to 30. If I wanted to, I could have an equal to 30 here, but I don't want to and neither should you. So now you're saying, well, look, we have one equation, but we have two unknowns, x and t. This can't be solved. You need to have two equations with two unknowns and you would be right. But the nice thing about the hack is is that when you have all the multiplication and a lot of algebra is seeing all multiplication. Here for instance is all multiplication. This is a single number times a single number. And on the right I have a single number times 2 times t. I have three multiplications. When you have all multiplication you could cancel one for one. So in effect I can cancel these t's right here and lo and behold that variable, that unknown, cancels away and we're left with just this. And of course now this is easy to solve. We're simply going to do a distribution here and that will allow us to get rid of the parentheses on both sides and we end up with this and we isolate x by uh, subtracting x from both sides and adding 2 to both sides and when you do that you come up with this the answer x is equal to 3 3 what? well 3 steps per second because that was the, the, the currency we dealt in from the very beginning of the problem the escalator moved at 
steps per second, and then we didn't change anything. So three is the man's rate of three steps per second. If you were to come up to the either one of these original equations and substitute three in for here, and you know distance is equal to four times t, and then you could solve for t, and you'd know how long it took him to go up, and then you could do the same thing, put three in here, and solve this for t, you would know the uh, time it took him. I'm not going to do that. I'll let you do that. Rather, what I want to do is seg you to another problem that can be cracked with the same hack I just used here. And this is one of the hardest word problems that appears in 122 semester. There are harder ones, but this gets solved by very few people. And I've, uh, I'm going to leave it here for you to, to tackle. I'm only going to give you one hint, and the hint is is that in this case, the distances are not the same. Remember, three quantities, distance equals rate times time. You want to find the one that's the same, both coming and going. And it is not distance here. So same techniques to solve this, same hack, but a slightly different setup in the table and uh, the formula. And I'm going to link to it at the end of this video right here. You'll see a link up here. And uh, have fun with it. It's a tough problem, but I think if you study the one I just did, you'll crack this one with ease. Good luck, and be talking to you soon.